everybody. This is David, the backyard ufologist. Oh gosh, I've been sick. I'm getting over it right now, I think. I'm getting a little bit better. Now my wife has it, and she's not very happy about it. <laughs> I don't blame her. But anyway, thank you for all the get wells. I do appreciate that. And all my new subscribers, thank you so much. We are so glad you're here. It's a lot of wild stuff going on. This has left my voice really messed up, so you just have to bear with me. All my friends are really up early this morning on Twitter. And I'd like to do a couple of shout outs real fast. South Cat Lisa, Mary E. Wolf, Clowns Paranormal Adventures. Do you ever sleep? <laughs> Ghost Tracers, they are here paranormal. Ghost Runners, Beyond the Veil Investigations, 303 Paranormal TV, AK Explorations, Redbeard, Mick. Southern Afterlife Paranormal, Pam L. Syme, Salem, Virginia Paranormal, David Tier, the Backyard Ufologist. Yes, there I am. Wow. Timothy Tim Bradrick and MBCDM Paranormal. Part of my paranormal family, and I'm part of your paranormal family. So it really makes it really fun to be a part of all of these good people and talented and great investigations. Some of them are gamers, which are really good. And they're all nice. So that's just what I want to say. So I do appreciate you and I appreciate everybody that has subscribed, all the new people from Instagram. I'll be doing shout outs to you also. And a lot of the shout outs are already in the description box as much as it can hold burst at the seams there so i do appreciate everybody i really do i got some really cool stuff i want to show you let's go ahead and get started okay here's our first picture of the program today as you can see there's some kind of plasma still coming around right here and i'm telling you this is a vortex right in this area a lot of things are coming up here let's take a look real quick at the orb we have there. There's some entity in there. You can see two eyes, nose, and mouth right there. There's something right there. I don't even know what that is. Right there it looks like writing almost. Can you see this right here? There's one right here. But there's some entity in there. And some entities in this one. Let's see if I can get any closer. See this one? Yeah, wow. It's like two eyes, a nose, a mustache, a beard. It's one of the uh, I guess they're one of the masters, huh? And right here, two people it looks like, or it could be a cat with two ears. I don't know. I really haven't looked over these, but that's some kind of entity in the plasma cloud right here. It's wild. But here's one flying around. I don't know what this is, but I see it a lot. You can tell it's on the move right here. And it's in a Y formation. I think it shape shifts is what it does. All kind of entities in it traveling around. And uh, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, that's for sure. And what is that noise? That's been happening here a couple of times. There's something right there. It looks like a person in an orb. Uh, you can see him right there looking through. Coming through the looking glass or something. Okay. Now here's some more coming up right out of that vortex right there. And, you know, I keep looking at it and saying, well, you know, I ask for protection. I do 1 John 414. I do a clearing sometimes four times a day. And these are the feline beings that are the protectors. And you can see two ears right here. You can even see the whiskers coming off of this thing. This is in plasma form right here. You know, I don't know if it's a spirit or if it's, uh, you know, an extraterrestrial and that's from another dimension, they, this is their light bodies and this is the way they are. So it could be, and you see all kind of different things all around them. So, you know, this is a spiritual entity right here and it looks like a feline being to me, that's for sure. Okay, man, I'm sorry I'm not feeling so hot today. But, you know, I'm really trying. I get out there late at night, like 3 o'clock in the morning, and I try to get some of these pictures. And right here you can see there's a face right there. And I, I kept looking at this, and there's a face right here. You can see that. Eyes. 
But look right here. It's that uh, entity people see say they see with the hat on. See the hat? And it looks like he's smiling. And you can even see his collar right here. See his collar and his shirt right here? And it's like he's got a little heart or something on his collar. And then there's an entity right by him right there. You see that? Isn't that something? This is all in spiritual form right here in my backyard. Mm. And here's an orb. I couldn't really tell what's all in this one. But you can see there's the energy around it. It's crazy. But uh, you can see there's little entities all in here. And they're overlapping. Just uh, I believe this is just like... Like I say, we're in the third dimension, then you got the fourth, and then the fifth, and then the sixth, and then so on, you know, right there. And there's just so many. It looks like a uh, female right there entity. And it looks like uh, some kind of animal, two eyes, nose, and a mouth right here, too. So it's a lot of animals out there around the trees and stuff. And this one was so bright, I couldn't see what was in it. I even darkened it up and still couldn't see it. Just a lot of energy there. But you can see two eyes, nose, and a mouth right there. And it's kind of on the move. So I don't know if it's twin or it's just the way it is. It's moving. And I caught it. And it stopped, you know, with the frames the way they were set. Okay. And then this is right after that picture. Just moving around a little bit and take another picture. And you can see it's the same thing, but you can see a guy right here. Two eyes, nose, and a mouth. It's in the head right here. And then there's an entity right there. Looks like he's smiling. I love it when they smile. They're happy. See, we have benevolent entities here. I've worked on this for many years to keep the malevolent entities out, get them out, and take them to their perfect place with forgiveness and unconditional love and have the ascended masters come down, Christ conscience masters, and take them to their perfect place. And they usually do. I'm a lot of static this morning. It's kind of crazy. And this is an entity right here that's uh, flying, but I can't really tell what it is. I see this a lot around here for sure. And uh, some of the entities is not all the way in this reality. You can see they're trying to come in right here. And there's some right up here. And then you can see something up here, some kind of entity. And there's one right there. It looks like a master right there, doesn't it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's in my backyard, folks. Now, here's another plasma that I caught. You can see there's something right here. We saw that earlier in a couple other videos uh, before, and it was flying around with these little uh, bat wings or something coming off of it. And you can see right here, there's some kind of master face right here, elder or something is what I want to call it, showing their self here. And the two eyes, the nose, the mouth, the beard right there. So I wanted to show that one too. And this one was uh, after it snowed a little bit, you can see two eyes and nose. What is this? This is wild, isn't it? It looks like Casper almost, the friendly ghost. But you can see it's just going right by, right here. Wanted to show that one. And now these are the snakes that are coming around it. You know, you've seen them before if you've watched my videos. You've seen these things. They're all over the place sometime. But uh, they come and they go. That's one right there. And I wanted to show that. And this, this is just too far away. <clears throat> Man, my voice is gone from coughing. <clears throat> Gosh. Terrible, terrible. And here it is over here. I wanted to show it again. Now you got one right here. You can see it. And there's an orb there. And if you look right here, there's another one in the tree. It almost looks like a check mark. Look at that. It looks like it's got two eyes right there. It looks like it's stopped and resting or recharging or something here on the Heminescent Ley Line. A big old bright orb right here. I don't know exactly what that is. It's got something going through the middle of it. Tell me what you think it is because I really don't know. I can't really see anything. I see two eyes, nose, and a mouth right there. I'll probably see something later after I keep looking at it a couple of times. But, yeah, it's kind of crazy. And then here's another one. It looks like a J that's uh, a uh, snake or, or rod or whatever you want to call it. It's some kind of entity here that's always around. It looks like a snake. 
And I saw this and barely caught it. And I've seen this before. This is the feminine, the divine feminine, I'm thinking. You see the hair? You can barely see her. And you see her breast, her arms coming down, her legs right there. It's some kind of divine feminine. They're coming around a lot. And this is one, it's so far away, it's kind of pixelized. But you can see two eyes, nose, and a mouth. You've got some kind of entity right there and right here. So that's kind of crazy. And all around the vortex here, you see little orbs. Now, I'm going to show you this snake again. Now, see, here it is right here. See the two little things sticking up right here? It comes down over the quartz boulder right here. And it looks like something's dripping off of it right there. Maybe plasma. I don't know. But gosh, look at this. This is spiritual right here. This is in the spiritual realm right here. There's portals and vortexes all through here. All kind of different stuff coming through here. This is the bird feeder right here. These are the wind chimes. They give me my landmarks that I have out there in the fairy circle. And then this is, looks like some kind of symbol or a entity saluting. You know, I don't know. And then there's one right next to it with big ears. It looks like a canine. Sure does. And But that is just something right there. And then we have one up here, <clears throat> up here, <laughs> and then you can see them, two eyes, nose, and a mouth right here. You can see that real clearly. There's one right there. This one's not all the way in this reality. It's trying to come through, but you can see it. You see what's going on in my backyard here. And then here it is again, right here by the quartz boulder. Now look at this, this is a pretty good catch. It's on the move, as you can see. It's got the plasma traveling behind it. It's an exhaust or something, I don't know. But you can see the mouth, the two eyes right there. And he's just having a great time out there flying around. It looks like an animal, doesn't it? Oh yeah, I wanted to show you one more thing uh, before it went on there. It, it was back here. And you can see the two little antennae or whatever right there. And then it uh, came over to here, right there. And you can see the two antennae right there, kind of, I guess. That's the one I'm seeing right there. I don't know if it's true or not, but, and then there it is on the move, as I was showing you. I have lots more pictures. I've got 10 more that I took last night, and I'll be doing that on another show because I don't want to keep you here. And, and make you watch all these people are saying they're too long so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed it uh sorry about my voice and everything kind of just kind of crazy here that's for sure <clears throat> but it's coming back slowly but surely but w the, the worst thing is i got my wife sick oh god she was taking care of me and now she's sick she just oh i'm going oh no now she'll probably have to go to the doctor too so it's just that time of year, and that's what happens, and it's not much you can do about it. But man, thank you for all of your remembering me when you're in your meditation and all the DMs I've been getting and PMs uh, giving me just positive energy sent to me. It means so much. And all my new subscribers, we're almost at um, 550 subscribers. I think I looked at it last. It was 547. So we're doing really well on that. Let's keep on going to a thousand where we can start making some coin and put back into the channel. And I would like go on some of these adventures on uh, on some of these uh, investigations, you know, and it takes money to do that. And I would love to do that. But until then, you know, I'm stuck poor boy right here. <laughs> that's for sure. Homeowner. But anyway, you're broke when you're a homeowner. That's for sure. If you don't have a lot of income coming in. Sorry, I'm so sick. But uh, anyway, uh, if you'd like to make a donation, all the information is in the description box below. Make sure you do that. Hello to Dr. D. Bro Cherry, my first and one and only Patreon, my monthly Patreon. I do appreciate you very much. I do. Thank you, everybody. And I'll be back with a video in about a couple of days, probably this weekend, and show you some real cool stuff. I'm getting out with the uh, night vision digital video recorder and see if we can catch some UFOs, too. So this is David, the Backyard Ufologist. Have a great rest of the week, and we'll check you back here in a couple of days. Bye-bye, everybody.